In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the water pump impeller on a modern 20 horsepower Tahat 2 four stroke. This engine is a 2021 or 2022, but the process should be the same for any similar years and may even be the same for the 9.9 .9 and the 15 horsepower Tahat 2s in similar years. The owner's manual says to have the impeller replaced every 200 hours or one year, and it also says to have it done by a dealer. Also, I'm not a professional, and this video is just for reference. First, get your engine in position where you can access the lower unit with plenty of room underneath so you'll be able to slide it off. This may very well be in the tilted up position on the trailer. Next, make sure the shift lever is in neutral and disconnect the shift linkage. This requires two crescent wrenches or adjustable wrenches. I believe it's eight millimeter crescent wrench size. Um, I just used two adjustable wrenches. Remove the jam nut and put it in a safe place. Remove the four lower unit bolts using a 10 millimeter socket or wrench. Wiggle the lower unit off or use a plastic mallet to gently tap it and slide it off the engine. All right, got it. We got the lower unit off. Um, the water pump impeller is right in there. First thing we have to do is just take this housing off. Use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the four bolts for the plastic housing, also called the upper pump case. Slide the metal housing, which is also called the pump case liner, with the impeller up the shaft and be careful not to lose the alignment key. And there is a key here, an alignment key. Just make sure I get that out and don't lose it. Pull this off, and here's the impeller in this housing. Pull the impeller out of the metal housing and inspect the impeller. No cracked blades, definitely like set but no cracked blades, no broken blades. Still pretty pliable. Here's a new one. So we'll just slide this on the shaft here, all the way down. We'll put that key back in position here and line that up with the keyway on the impeller. Perfect. Lube the impeller and housing with water soluble lubricant. I just used some dish soap. Add the metal housing back in place and I'm going to spin this shaft clockwise while I bend these blades so that they bend in the correct piece of cake direction. Although I have heard it doesn't matter, they just will flex back in the opposite direction if it's the wrong direction. And I believe that, I've seen tests, but might as well just play it safe and do it that way. And then we'll put this guy back on. Add the plastic housing back on, making sure the alignment marks on the metal housing align inside the plastic housing. And you can feel it. There's these two little tabs here on this uh, pump impeller housing. And there's two little tabs in this plastic piece. And you could kind of subtly feel them drop into place when they're lined up. There we go. Drops right in. Nice. Replace the bolts using anti-seize or a Loctite. Slide the lower unit back onto the engine and replace the lower unit bolts also using anti-seize or a Loctite. Make sure the lower unit and the shift lever are in the neutral position and reattach the linkage and secure it with the jam nut. Test the shift lever and run the engine. Test for water flow. Done.